Uh, hey, yo, what's up, gamers? Welcome back to another video. It's me, again, Bolt to Tell. And I wanted to make another one of those videos where I'm updating you guys on what we are learning at, currently at school. Because I, I started going to high school a few months ago, and I've been updating you guys on that ever since February when I started high school. Now it's August, and we've done a lot of things. I forgot when the last one of these videos... Well, I've, wait, what? Wait, I forgot when the last time I made one of these videos was. But I remember... Wait, no, I don't remember anything. Wait, no, yes, sir. I, I remember that I made one of these videos, but I forgot the, th the things that we were learning in back then. Um, the, the idea that sparked this, the video, uh, this video idea into my head was I got my grade back for my social studies thing. Um, as you all know, I've talked about this quite a bit lately, but we had to write a paragraph, um as an assignment on environmental degradation but if you wanted to get excellence then you had to write an essay so i wrote an essay it was it's a very good essay and it said it, um my social studies teacher she's really nice um she said that she had um what's that word she said that she admires the students who strive for excellence, which is me. And yes, I got um, a very well done, great structure, 8 out of 8. And I got 100% for my essay. But then we had to do a test on environmental degradation and climate change and all of that stuff. And some more stuff as well, which I got an 86 on. <laughs> 86%. On. My total, in, like in total, it was 93% because, you know... 86 plus 100 percent divide by two that's my overall score which is 93 so yeah um i'm very happy about that and today once i got my results back um i showed my paper to my english teacher mr ladder because he's my like favorite teacher ever and yeah he said he looked at my writing and he said that it was really really good um, and I showed my mom when I got home as well. And I managed to score another can of Monster. I got a can of Ultraviolet, which is one of my favorites. Um, anyways, what was I? Oh yeah, learning. Um, let's start off with maths. In maths, currently, we're learning areas of shapes. Recently, we had a new math teacher. He's quite nice. He actually provides me with work, um, which is pretty cool. But usually we we usually do stuff like work workbook stuff, you know. We get given those books or workbooks, and we have our own math books, and we need to copy and write down all of the answers. It's really quite fun, um, and uh, yeah, that's all we're doing. We're just calculating the area of different shapes, like triangles and squares and trapezoids and and circles. And then we have to add the shapes together, like combine shapes, like we're given a bunch of random shapes and we have to split them up into simpler shapes and then we find the areas of the simpler shapes and then we add them together to get the more complex shapes. It's really, it's really quite fun. I enjoy it. It's relaxing. Um, in science... We we are learning about the galaxy, our place in space. That's the topic. I'm wearing a galaxy shirt right now. Oh, it's a galaxy pizza cat shirt. It's similar though, similar. Um, they both have galaxies in them, and and what we're doing for that, this term basically we've been giving these little we've been given these little choice boards, in. And each of them have, like, they have different topics, like, and, and you can do, like, whatever, you can choose what you want to do, what you do, you can choose your work, and then you upload it onto Microsoft Teams, and, yeah. And I've, I've done, I'm actually, I actually, I really like this style of learning with the choice boards, because, like, I get to make so many posters. Um, I made a poster about, uh, joining the Mars colonization movement. And I made a little animation today. I have no clue how to make animations, but I tried. I found a cool new software. 
and I like quite literally made the coolest animation ever. It was about the phases of the moon in and then, of course, I posted, when my other science posted that I did, about, um, what's it called again? Earth's tilt, and how that affects the seasons, and that kind of stuff, and the temperature, and, and that, yeah. Uh, also, I made another post, oh, I made a calendar on Emmy's Paint. I made a calendar, a lunar calendar, for this month, August 2024. It's a very cool poster. I mean, calendar thing. Um, what else did I do in science? Um, I did a really cool painting on Emmy's paint as well. I'm sure I did some other stuff, but that's all I can remember. Um, yeah, that's science. That we just we're literally just learning about that. Um, in social studies, uh, we just completed our topic on climate change and environmental degradation. Of course, we had to write this thingy. Um, and yeah, it's, it's just climate change. It's just climate change, environmental degradation. Um, we're learning about how. Uh, people and communities can enhance or damage the suitability of places of living. You know, like how countries are like cutting down palm oil, or cutting down trees to make room for palm oil farming, and how that the trees they get they're getting cut down, and that means less oxygen. I mean, less the trees trees produce oxygen, and without trees, we have less oxygen and more carbon dioxide, and that's heating up our planet. And melting down icebergs and uh that that place uh i'm pretty sure it's called kiribati right kiribati 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 i think so and how that the sea levels are rising immensely there um that's so sad for that country i hope that and like they're not even like they're not even the ones that are, like, doing the climate change, the fossil fuel stuff. Like, they're not the ones heating up the, the planet. It's, like, the other countries that are doing that. And in return, it's, like, affecting, like, it, the, the climate change and fossil fuel stuff. It's, like, it's impacting, like, really inequitably on everyone else, and that sucks. Um, anyways, uh, English, we'll, in English, we're basically learning that exact same thing, but less of it like we just had to make like environmental protest posters i showed you this poster that i made but it's a very cool poster um it's uh we basically just had to choose like a subject thing and make it like we, we need to choose a subject about environmental degradation make a poster on it it was a static image that's actually what it is, a static image. I'm pretty sure I told you guys this, but yeah, static image, that's really fun. Um, what other subjects do I have? Oh yeah, Japanese. Um, you know, next week there's actually going to be students from Japan coming to our school and I have to speak to them. Well, me and some other Japanese students, some other kids in the Japanese class, and we have to speak to them in Japanese. Um... Which, I mean, I'm sort of looking forward to it, right? But, you see, um, I, I, I've I memorized hiragana, right? I know some katakana. I used to, I used to be fluent. I, or oh, semi-fluent. I used to know how to speak a lot of Japanese a few years ago. But then I forgot, now I'm relearning it. Because it's a subject at my high school. Um, and, like, I, I, I enjoy writing it, right? I, I like writing. But speaking to people physically, that's one of my weak points, probably. Well, I can speak well to people in English. Or well, semi I'm, 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 I'm fluent in English. But, like, speaking to strangers in another language that I'm not that good at, it's, 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 I'm a bit apprehensive, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so yeah, that's that. And, um, what other class do I have? One more. What was it again? Shoot, what's my other class? 
Oh yeah, DVC, DVC. It's a very fun class. I like DVC. Basically, we just we just do a lot of drawings. We were doing perspective drawings, and now we're designing architecture for cats and dogs. Basically, we just need to come up with like a lot of different designs for animals, like little shelters or like playthings, and draw them. That's all. It's basically product design, except we don't end up designing it. Basically, in DVC, you spend more time designing, less time creating, um, and you can just run wild and free with your designs. You don't need to think about how it's going to be constructed or anything, because you're not going to construct it. Well, you, you could construct it, but you don't. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, you should. Um, ah. Uh, yeah, recently I've been, like, I know that I've mentioned this before, but I just want to say, like, a lot, I find myself listening to William Control's music, like, a lot. Like, I love him so much, he makes such good music. Like, even this, like, his stuff in Aiden was great, right? But then when he moved on and made his own solo work, like, oh my god, that is amazing. Legit, like, hate culture... And Silentia Memoris, or however you pronounce it, both, like, amazing albums. Oh yeah, and Marilyn Manson, he's making a comeback too. I love both of his uh, two new songs that he's released recently. Oh yeah, and also today, Falling in Reverse released another album as well. That's epic. So yeah, I wanted to share that, 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 those, that cool, the cool music stuff. Um... Tomorrow my mom and I are going to get sushi for lunch and I'm going to drink some Monster Energy. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get all these updates. Bye-bye.